the previous video, we saw a basic overview of how the integrated SPICE functionality in Eagle is set up, and we saw a basic simulation. In this video, we want to go over the different SPICE simulation types, as well as explore how the operating point toggle function works. So this is the KVL example. You'll find it in the NG SPICE folder that comes in the latest release of Eagle. And let's go ahead and click here on the Simulate icon. So this will bring up the simulation setup. And under Configuration, we have the main types of simulations that we can do at this point in time. So the default one is Operating Point. And this is basically a DC analysis when you're taking your circuits classes. Most of the time, you're doing an Operating Point analysis. You're using KVL and KCL to calculate voltage and current all over your circuit. We have a DC sweep simulation, which allows you to take one of the sources in your schematic and vary it from a start value to an end value, and see how it affects your circuit at each one of these values. We have an AC sweep simulation, which is also a frequency type simulation. With it, you can arrive at Bode plots for filter responses and things of that nature. And we have transient simulation, which is what we saw in the previous video which is basically a time domain simulation of your circuit showing how your circuit evolves as time progresses. And you can set up start time, stop time, and what the maximum uh, time step is for your simulation. Now the temperature parameter is one that you can use when your models include or account for temperature effects. So using the temperature parameter is very highly dependent on the quality of the models that you're using for your circuit. Many models don't account for temperature variation. So you may find that adjusting this parameter does nothing for your simulation results. The number of points as defined here basically control the resolution of your simulation. The larger the number of points, the finer the, the simulation. However, the flip side of that is that the longer it will take for your circuit to simulate. The default values are considered uh, good for most simulations, so you generally won't modify them unless you find that you need more detail. Now these simulation options, um, we're not really going to go into detail for this video series, since most of the time you won't be tampering with them. What they do is they help you adjust the convergence of your simulation. So if you find that a, a particular simulation is having trouble uh, arriving at a solution, you may want to play with some of these parameters. The only one we're going to mention for, for this video is the R shunt option. So what this option does is that at DC, we know that capacitors are open circuits. So if you have capacitors in certain areas of your simulation, you may have trouble getting a result. So in those situations, you'll set R shunt to on. And what this will do is that it will place a high value resistor in parallel with the capacitor, which won't really affect the end result, but for the purposes of the simulation engine, you've given the whole circuit a DC path to complete the loop. So in other videos that we'll be doing in the future, we may go into more detail over this function, but I just wanted to make you guys aware of it for now. So this example is an operating point example, so let's go ahead and hit simulate. And what we're going to see is that all of the voltages at all of the nodes are calculated. The operating point simulation does not need a plot, so the plot tab is going to stay empty. However, in the simulator output, you can see the text description of all the results, so you can verify. Um, the nice thing about doing an operating point analysis is if you look on the schematic, all of the nodes are labeled with their voltages and any currents that may be flowing. In this case, we have a, a single loop. So we see current flowing out from one of the sources and into the other. And it's the same amount of current. Okay, with these values, you'll see that we're getting a, a 0.1 milliamps. Okay, here it's specifying amps. Now the operation point toggle feature allows you to turn those results off and on at will. That way they don't clutter up your design while maybe you're adding other circuitry. So this is the end of this video. In the next video, we're going to go over the NG SPICE simulation library, which contains voltage sources and other important SPICE simulation symbols, which you'll need in order to simulate your own circuits. Thank you very much, everyone, and have a great day.